Hey Beauty Glamours and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial I will be showing you guys how to achieve the perfect ombre eyebrow look. On my last tutorial most of you were commenting on my video saying that I had the perfect eyebrows and all that stuff so why not just teach you guys how to achieve this perfect eyebrow and the easy steps. For those that are new to my channel welcome welcome welcome. And for those that are following me up on my videos, thank you for watching. And yeah, let's just jump right into these eyebrows. First, these are the tools that I'm going to be using to achieve the perfect eyebrow. So I will be needing these four brushes right here. These right here. This is the eyebrow. eyebrow brush. This one is to comb the hair. So it's gonna have like, it looks just, just like the mascara brush, but this is gonna be a clean, it's a clean brush mainly for the eyebrows. I use this small, thin detail brush to kind of detail the area when it's time to clean it and line it up together, the eyebrow. And then I just kind of clean it up more with a thicker brush. So these are my four main brushes. I normally don't really use these two, but because I can't really find my flat brush, I don't know where I put it. So I'm just gonna be using these two. And we can just start right away with the eyebrow. So I take a small brush that's like this. I face it upside down and this is going to help me line up my front of my eyebrow and the end of my eyebrow. So sometimes you don't want your tail to be too long over the eye. So this is a great way of guiding the eyebrow and helping you how to achieve and make it look perfect instead of making it too long and too thick. So this, when you first start doing the eyebrow, you want to make sure that start like this, lining it up. See how it lines the inner tear and the beginning of the eyebrow? This is how it should always be. Not like this because then you're kind of creating a unibrow and you really don't want to create a unibrow. You want to have space in between the eyebrows. So, when so this is a great way to use this. Also, this is perfect, perfect for lining how to do the arch of your eyebrow. So, if you look straight in the mirror, you're going to see that your arch should always end right where your pupil is. That's where you're gonna start creating the arch and now when you want to end the tip of the wing this is also a great way you have to line it up with the outer area of your eye so it's gonna go like this this is how the wing of your eyebrow should be right here it should end not more or not less right about here make it into an angle so it should look like this beginning right here arch right here and tip right about here so today I will be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills dip brow in soft brown so I will be using this to fill in my eyebrows. Um, if you're not comfortable with using a dip brow, you can go ahead and do it with a pencil brow and it's okay. Um, so this is my preference and I love to use the dip brow. So I will be going in with this today. To start the eyebrow, you wanna make sure that it's, if you're missing some hairs, you want to push it up. Just kind of figure out if 
where you think you see missing hairs or not. So I like to kind of check, double check. So I see that I'm missing some hair here, so I'm going to fill it in. And also here. So I'm going to be going in with my angle brush. And I'm going to start filling the eyebrow. Do, if you use a dip brow, please don't dip your brush all the way in like that because you're going to apply so much product on your eyebrow and you really don't want to do that. So you just tap it gently and if you feel like there's a lot then you can just scoop it off, off a little bit. Gently. Now, I'm going to start in the arch and down to my tip. So I kind of want to fill that in a little bit. Then I'm going to work my way towards the inner of the eyebrow. So I'm just kind of dragging it more towards the inside of the eyebrow. So because, like I told you guys, I am missing a piece of hair there, I will be going in a little lower to fill in that spot. So if you feel like it looks so messy and thick, don't worry because you always can fix it. So this is how it kind of looks in the beginning. You never want to apply a lot of product in the inner because you want that ombre effect on the eyebrow. So I normally just leave it like this for now and I start filling the top of the eyebrow. With this brush, I am going to brush down my eyebrows. Just like that. And then start filling in. You don't want to make it too thick. So you go by how your eyebrow shape is. Don't ever go up, don't ever go down. Just the way your eyebrow is. Now, if you want, you can create the arch of your eyebrow, which I kind of go like that. Like creating that beautiful arch. If you feel like you did, it's huge, it's okay because you go in with the concealer and it's gone. So it's okay if you mess up for a little bit. Then I start brushing inwards the eyebrow, so slightly. With the brush, I start kind of buffing the eyebrow. It's alright if you feel like you can tell that there's no color in there. Then you go back and you fill it in. Then again, I'll go and start brushing it off and buffing it. Now I see that I still have a little gap. So you want to go in with a powder brow color. Or you can also use a brown from any of your palettes. And just start patting and filling in your eyebrow. So this is gonna help conceal the dip brow. Just because the dip brow is creamy you want to set it with 
a powder. So I'm gonna be going in with a brown color from my palette and just kind of filling it in. So now I'm gonna be going in with my Hourglass Foundation Vanish in shade Nude. And I'm gonna start concealing and shaping my eyebrows. So I'm gonna be using this right here. And I'm also gonna be using this small detail brush. You guys can see how you clean the eyebrow and make it look very thin and beautiful and very shaped. Now, just to seal up the eyebrow, you want to go in with a Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. And I'm going to be using my NYX Control Freak Eyebrow Gel. And I'm going to be applying it on the eyebrows. This helps your eyebrow stay in place and last all night. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. So if you're doing it on yourself, this is a great way to start off. And if you're learning, this is also a super great way of starting just by using this to measure your eyebrow and you'll be fine make sure that you fill in if you don't want your eyebrows too dark then you should do it a little lighter i would suggest using a dip brow that's a little lighter if you want it dark then you can go with a little dark dip brow whenever you just want that natural eyebrow then you should just go with a pencil brow because when you use a pencil brow it kind of still makes it looks just natural now if you want that boldy uh, ombre look on the eyebrow then I would suggest using a zip brow but if you're not comfortable with using a zip brow then you can use a pencil brush and then use a powder there's many ways of doing eyebrow this is the way that I know and I hope that this finds it easier for you to do and yeah so I truly hope that you guys enjoyed watching this tutorial please don't forget to subscribe like give it a thumbs up and comment down below on what you guys thought about this and let me know if you tried it at home i want to know all about it so just don't forget to comment down below also follow my social media they're all the same name as my youtube so it's beauty glam grace make sure you follow instagram snapchat twitter and i'll see you guys on my next video thank you again and I love you guys.